Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? We have 3 to the power of root t, and this equals 27 power t. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. Now the base here is 3, and the base here is 27. So we can express this 27 as product of multiples of 3. Remember, 27 equals 3 times 3 times 3. So we have 27 equals 3 to the power of 3. So we are going to have 3 or root t equals 27, that is 3 power 3 raised to the power of t. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So we apply this identity right here. That means what we are going to have is 3 power root t and this equals 3 power 3 times t, that is 3t. Now consider this. If you have a power b and this equals a power c, that means b equals c. Why? Because the bases are the same and there's an equality sign here, so you compare the exponent. Right here we have 3. We have 3. The bases are the same. You can compare this exponent. So you have root t equals 3 times t. So right here, what you are going to do is to eliminate the square root. So you take the squares of a part of this equation. So if you have square root of x raised to the power of 2, this simply means you have x power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2. So this will simply give you multiply this exponent 2 times 1 over 2 times 2 over 2, you have x power 2 over 2. So this will give you x. Applying the same thing here, that means this, cancel this. We have t equals 3 times t raised to the power of 2. Now from here, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So we have t equals t power 2 times t power 2. So from here, we have t equals 3 power 2, that is 9 times t power 2. We have t equals, this multiply this, that is 9 t power 2. Now, you can decide to solve it in different ways. If you have t equals 9 t power 2, you can divide this by t, divide this by t. So from here, t eliminate t, I have 1 equals 9 t because this cancel one of this. So from here, I can simply have 9t equals 1. I divide this by 9. I divide this by 9. 9 eliminate 9. So I simply have t equals 1 over 9. This gives me only one solution. I can still decide to solve this using this other approach. What if I decide to have 9t squared? I move this t over here. That becomes minus t and this equals zero. What if I do it this way? There is t here, there is t here. I can factor out t. I have t times this is 90 minus 1. This equals zero. So at this particular point it's here, I have t equals zero. I also have 90 minus 1 equals zero. So if t equals zero, that is solved already. I have t equals zero. For this, I move this over here, I have 90 equals 1. So to solve for t here, what I'm going to do is divide this by 9, divide this by 9, 9 eliminate 9. I simply have t equals 1 over 9. So in this other method, I'm having two values for t, which are t equals 1 over 9. I also have t equals 0 here. So, in total, we are having two different solutions, which are, we have t equals 0, we have t equals 1 over 9. So, these are the two solutions that we have gotten so far. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to check. We check for each of these solutions by inserting these values right here. Let's start with when t equals 0. 
have 3 power square root of 0 equals 27 power 0. Now from here, remember square root of 0 is 0. I have 3 power 0 equals 27 power 0. Now from here, 3 power 0 is 1, and this equals 27 power 0. Any number raised to the power of 0 is the option of 0 itself is 1. This is 1, this is 1. Alright, let's consider when t equals 1 over 9. Half t equals 1 over 9. Half t power square root of t equals 3 power or that is 27 power t. Right? And we are going to substitute this for t. We have 3 power square root of 1 over 9 equals 27 power 1 over 9. Remember, if you have square root of a over b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. Applying this right here, that means we are simply going to have 3 power square root of 1 divided by square root of 9 equals 27 power 1 over 9. Now, square root of 1 is 1, and square root of 9 is 3. F3 power 1 over 3 equals 27 power 1 over 9. So from here, I can have 3 power 1 over 3 equals 27. I can express it as 3 to the power of 3, and this raised to the power 1 over 9. So if you have a power n raised to the power of m equals a power n times m. I'll apply this right here. So I'm simply going to have 3 power 1 over 3 equals 3 power 3 times 1, that is 3 over 9. And from here, 3 cancel the cell bonds, cancel 9, we have 3. So you have 3 power 1 over 3 equals 3 power 1 over 3. Now, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1. So from here, we are simply going to have, this is applying that here, and here, you have the cube root of 3 power 1, and this equals the cube root of 3 power 1. So 3 power 1 is 3. We are going to have the cube root of 3, and this equals the cube root of 3. Left hand side equals right hand side, so that is it. This is how you can solve this particular problem, step by step. Now the first step is for you to make sure that whenever you have an exponential problem that has an equality sign here, make sure that the base here and the base here are the same. That is the key way of solving this exponential problem. Make sure that the two bases are the same. You express the bigger base in terms of the smaller one. So you have 27, we express it in terms of 3, that is 3 power 3. And that is how we got the 3 here. So we multiply this exponent using this identity. So we are now left with is 3 power root t equals 3 power 3 t. Now we consider this identity, if you have a power b equals a power c, that means b equals c. So we equated this exponent, since the base are the same. And from here we are able to solve for t because for you to eliminate the square root, you take the squares. So when you take the squares, you can solve it in two ways. By Firstly, by dividing both parts of this equation by t, and second method is by moving the t over here. So the second method will give you two solutions, while the first method will give you one solution. So that is it. Thank you and see you did.